is Liz. I'm a certified computer repair technician. Today we'll be discussing how to fix operating system not found error on your ASUS computer. Okay, so first step as a computer repair technician is I would hit the power button and start tapping on F2 on my ASUS to fix this problem. Uh, to get into the, what we're doing is getting into the BIOS settings because improperly set BIOS settings is the number one cause of this problem. So, going into your BIOS settings, oh, just as a shout out, make sure your date and time settings are correct uh, use your tab and arrow keys to set these because this can cause a boot loop uh, problem so next thing we're going to do is go over to your boot settings make sure your hard drive or it says windows boot manager same thing is set as boot option one this can cause that problem also make sure all your usbs are no longer attached to your computer this can also cause this problem next thing make sure that cms is disabled and then we're going to go over security and make sure secure boot is, secure boot is enabled uh, and try restarting your computer. Um, if that doesn't work, try reversing those settings and restarting. I know, it's weird, but it works. Go over to your advanced menu as you see me doing now. Select the different SATA mode selections. With each one, try restarting your computer. Switch between the two. I know, it, I would explain it as complicated, but this works. Try, setting, try switching between those two. The shout out, if your hard drive you find is not listed, that could be a sign that your hard drive has gone bad. Uh, second thing, next step would be to try to reinstall your operating system. We have a video down below on how to do that. Sometimes your operating system gets corrupt and then your computer can no longer access it, causing a no bootable device problem. Next thing also you can do is try reseeding your hard drive, which is just unplugging it, and plugging it back in. I know, it's crazy, but it not being connected co properly can cause this problem. And to my final reason, this is the saddest one of all. If you find that you've reseeded it, you've done the settings, and you've reinstalled it, still not working, you may need a new hard drive. Sometimes they just go. I know, it's sad. But you can always use it as an opportunity to upgrade. On uh, the video down below, we show you how to re re to install a new hard drive and how some give you some advice on how to upgrade. Have any questions? Leave them down below, and we'll do our best to help you get through this. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or some great ideas for some videos, leave them down below and one of our certified technicians will respond as quickly as possible. Anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.